Yo, what's going on guys? That was my lap for Catalonia in the BMW Z4 GT3 and that was the same setup I used for AOR um, Season 7 at Catalonia. Only difference being um, for the AOR race it was actually run in more of a night setting. So with this setup you probably could um, maybe uh, you, you'll need to run slightly higher tyre tire pressures on the left hand side of the car because obviously it's going to be a lot hotter. So, um, yeah, but anyway, um, it's a decent lap. Managed to get 41.6. Actually, probably should have got 41.4. I was half a second up, but I just dropped time coming through the last chicane. As you'll probably see in the replay of this lap, going into the, the chicane at the end, I was a little bit wide on the way into the first part of that, so lost a little bit of time, but still half decent lap. Um, I can't remember the name of the person that's been asking me for a while to do a setup video for this track, but finally managed to get it done. I was having a, a few complications with my wheel stand at the time, so that's why I didn't, I haven't done it sooner. But yeah, I mean, <coughs> I'm going to be doing a few more setups. Uh, maybe try some of the other cars. I did want to have a, another go in the uh, in the Aston Martin V8. A really nice handling car, but it's just it's just slow in a straight line. So yeah, but yeah, with this lap, pretty much, it's with Catalonia. You just got to make sure you hit all the apexes. You really got to attack the lap. It is one, probably one of my better tracks on this game for some reason, not too sure why, but it's always easier just, just to attack the lap as much as you can with this track and um, with, the, with the Z4 it tends to just, just stick, but you'll see here now where I run a little bit wide going into the entry, compromising my way into the, into the exit of that corner, but still we were quite a bit up so we didn't lose too much time, but definitely uh, probably I think my maximum I could probably get a, a 41.3, 41.4 and I'll be happy with that, but yeah. Onto the setup. Um, yeah, as I said, this is pretty much exactly the same as what I use for AOR in the league race. So, um, the only thing, obviously, you, you'd have to up your up your brake ducts for the race. I'd probably say I can't remember what I use maybe about 25 percent, 25 30 percent for you to the race. In in the daytime, as I said, in the daytime is probably going to be a lot harder. So you might want to up your your brake ducts even more because obviously your brakes are going to get hot and you're just not going to slow down for corners but yeah as i said it's a decent lap pretty happy with it and then um, this is a setup that I've, I've i've used it on quite a few different tracks i think i used it on sakito a few seasons ago in AOR. it was pretty good um only difference being is before well, it with the z4 i always used to run about one eight one nine on the wings and literally it was it was just super fast at the start of a race when you got heavy fuel or it was just really quick in qualifying but I think in, in race pace throughout the whole of a race I think 0.5 is probably the best compromise for the Z4 so if you're wondering about Z4 setups I would always probably recommend c certain tracks maybe you might want to change it but 0.5 I think is the, is the go-to wing levels for the Z4 but anyway I'm Cryptic TMG and yeah I'll be doing more videos and I guess I'll catch up with you guys later these are my, my settings for personal preference and um, my force feedback. But yeah, try them out, see how you like it. But anyway, peace. I'll catch you in the next video.